Welcome back, YouTube. We're going to jump into Chapter 1-3 now, so let's just load up the game. This will put you in the house just after fighting the Big Cheese. Well, by encountering the Big Cheese. We'll fight him later, don't worry. So grab your green herb from the end. You can go through this door if you'd like a, an additional cutscene. You'll meet a new character. you get a little bit more story out of it. It's not crucial to the plot. I mean, it's Resident Evil. How much is there, really? So... If you really want to. Otherwise, we're going to head downstairs and dispatch this guy in the bathroom. And then we're going to proceed forward by looting the house. So there's only a little bit of stuff here. There's only three items. So head to the back for an incendiary grenade and some, some cash. So there's our incendiary grenade. There's our cash. Okay. And then come to the stove here. Get your brown chicken egg. And then we're going to head through this door for a little fight. So let's get our shotgun ready. Okay, now that we have our shotgun, give that a quick reload because you're going to need it. Open the door. And we get to take on a chainsaw guy here. Ooh, nice echo. Okay. So because I have a few bullets here and a little bit of time, I'm going to try to take out this brick because he will endlessly throw axes at you. So knock him back. No, we don't need to switch. Okay, so take him out. Give this guy some time. Let him get almost right up on you before you blast him there. Because it's kind of beneficial to be able to knife him. Okay, then get the heck out of there. You can almost put a wall behind him to limit how far he flies. That'll be helpful because knifing him will save you a lot of bullets in the long run. Okay, don't get too brave. Because he will one-hit you. Actually, better safe than sorry. I'd rather reload than get a knife in. Because I can kill him with bullets. My knife's not going to do too much. Okay, so up here, you got a bird's nest. Let's knock that down. Let's loot everything. Okay. Then one thing we can do is... So there's a bird's nest over there. Shoot that down. That will spawn this chick. Come out and try to get us. So we can take care of her at our own leisurely pace. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and switch to an incendiary grenade for this next part. We'll see if she drops anything. Ooh. Nice. Ammo is always good. Okay, get our red herb. We'll go pick up our TNP ammo from the, the bird's nest. Okay. Come on. And then we'll use our incendiary grenade there for that group. Do as much to the entire group at once as we can. I'm just not even going to deal with him. Okay. And that's this map. So let's head down. Let's unbar the gate and head into the village. In the village, you don't have to fight anyone. I don't recommend it because there are a lot of them. You're just going to waste your ammo here. So just stay very wide. Swing around that trough. And like I say, just stay as wide as you can. Run straight for the door with the insignia on it. Mash the command to open it. Use the key that we got from the Big Cheese's room and head in. Okay, clean out this room. Should just be a handgun ammo in a box. Okay, then proceed through this door and get the barrel. And prepare your handgun. Because... Okay, get a reload. You're going to want to shoot that lantern down. In that lantern is a spinel, so that'll get you a little bit of money. Okay, so then we open the trap door in front of us and we jump down. So then we head down a little bit further here. And you'll see another torch just like it, so shoot that one down. There's a spinel, a spinel, and an elegant headdress. So grab your elegant headdress, grab your spinel, break open the crate. 
and grab the other spine owl because just around this corner very beneficial this is why we didn't reload another merchant Got so we'll get into his menu good things on sale stranger okay so first thing you want to do is you go through his dialogue here because he tells you about the 10 medallions what are you we're selling? just about to finish that up so just go into the cell menu first and sell your spinels your ruby, your brass pocket watch, and your headdress. As those do not net any more than 10,000, so there's no point to hang on to them. I recommend the only thing that you buy from the buy section is the stock for the TMP. As it becomes very handy. Because it stabilizes your weapon. Uh, let's see. So all we want to do here is just stack up this, stack our 10, okay? And then we'll go to tune-up. I recommend tuning up everything for the handgun and everything for the TMP. As far as the shotgun goes, that's really dealer's choice on that. Half a point right now isn't great. The reload speed could probably be... Yeah, we'll do that because that's a significant portion. But otherwise, we are done with the merchant, so let's head up the ladder at the back of the room here through the door and head up to the church graveyard. Church graveyard. Sorry about that. Okay, first things first, there's a bird's nest right off the bat there. Okay, that's just the cinema showing the graveyard, so... Oh, we didn't combine them. So as you saw, the initial pullout that I had there with the TMP was shooting from the hip. And now it shoots in the shoulder. That chick is very slow, so don't worry about her. We can get at least this first bird. Honestly, she's so slow, I almost want to trigger him as well. But we'll wait, because she's right there. Okay, so we'll knock her down. We'll knife her to death. Okay. Then we'll knock him down. And we'll knife him. Okay, then we'll clean up our birds and we'll snipe the last three medallions that we're going to need. So there's one just up the hill towards the church. There's one in the tree in the graveyard as well. And the last one that we'll need, I can't see from this angle, I don't think, is right over here on the outskirts. Those are the three easiest to get on this map. So let's go ahead and knock those out and disregard any other blue medallion you see. They are not necessary. They are just a waste of bullets. So loot this little house here, and then we'll head up the hill. There's some references in the graveyard here to a little mini boss later. It's interesting lore if you if you want to know more about the Bella sisters. Okay, if you can shoot the dynamite in his hand, just like so, he will blow up, and it takes care of that whole group a lot faster. So if you were curious because you didn't see the other ones, there should be a medallion right there. There's one behind the church. And then there's a few on the walkway that we're about to go down. But there's two more enemies back here, so let's take care of them and get an optional item. <sighs> trying to shoot the dynamite out of his hand as well. There we go. So, trying to shoot the dynamite out of their hand is a little tricky, but it's very helpful. This is the green cat's eye, so let's go ahead and get that. The three flame family insignias you want are the top one that it's pointing at right now. The one that kind of looks like a crazy M, which would be at the I guess, 4 o'clock position. And then we need the one at the 5 o'clock position that looks like a V. The way to get these is to do 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 3. So, once again, that was 3, 3, 3, 4, four, four, three. And you take the green cat's eye. Now, to show you the purpose of the cat's eyes, now that we have two of them, we'll go ahead and combine those with the Beerstein. And now the Beerstein is worth a significant amount more, but it's not quite at its maximum. There's one more cat's eye that we get right near the end of chapter two. So just hang on to it. It doesn't take up any inventory space. Don't worry about it. Another call from Hunnigan. Leon. He just reports in where he is. There is a lady down here. 
If you're lucky, she'll just fall off. There we go. Saves you some bullets there. Same with these two, if you can get lucky. Okay. And go in here and loot. I believe this is the first snake you encounter. So just double knife that box. Take your chicken egg. So be careful with the boxes now, because they can have snakes. They're all predetermined, so you don't have to worry. Okay, so as you saw, there's a medallion there. There's a medallion just above us. And there's one right there. That should finish it up. I believe that's the last. Because I didn't show you the one behind the church. Can we see it from this angle? No, we can't see it from this angle, but it is up there. I believe if you really want to, you can fight a few extra enemies here. And we're going to test it. Now that we're far enough away. Okay, is he going to drop anything? I believe you can... Yep. Shoot the bell in the tower. I might be going crazy. You can shoot the bell here or in the town, I believe. And it will summon a wave of enemies. Okay, so let's take that. Oh, okay. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. So that whole flock of crows. You're thinking, how am I going to shoot all of those crows without alerting any of them? What you're going to do is you're going to get out your trusty flashbang. And you're going to throw it. And it's going to nuke them all. And you see that one red one? That's a flashbang. They repay your effort if you use it. So really, all you do is net all that cash for free. Okay, so go ahead and switch back to your regular weapons. There should be a little bit of stuff in here. Spinels, minor ammo. So loot the houses, because you'll be back here again. There's a boss here. Which, I don't think I've uploaded my first video, but I do fight him in that one, so. He's not too bad. It's the first, I guess, major boss that you fight that's not, I guess, first mini boss that's a real challenge. Okay, so, behind us, before we went through the door, there is a way to go down. You can go, you can save, you can go talk to a merchant. You don't have to do it, but it's up to you. You can sell a few things, you can tune up if you really want to, but you don't need to. Because you're going to find a merchant just after this next part, so there's no point. So let's proceed down this hill. It's another quick time event, so be prepared to sprint. Okay, so you want to sprint. Again, keep your fingers ready for that quick time event at the end. Avoid the boulder. There should be something shiny on the roof above you. Yep. That's a spinel, so congratulations, you got 2,000 for your efforts. This might be the one that has the bird's nest. No, no way in hell. Nope, okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so that guy is standing in front of that trap. Now, if you can shoot that trap, you can kill him. Okay, this part's not bad. It's just kind of windy. So, go ahead and spawn everybody on your on your location. Let's go ahead and use the TMP because I have a bunch of ammo for that. Okay. Same rules apply here. Shoot for the knee as much as you can. Don't take nothing from nobody. Okay. Well, he is not dead. Despite what the... The action is that occurs when others fall off cliffs, he is not dead. Now he is dead. Okay. There is a good bit of loot here. Well, there's a good bit of good loot. Okay. So we've got a hand grenade there. So we'll proceed around here. Be careful of the traps. Shoot them when you get to them. Okay. Yep, I see. There are snakes in the water, so keep an eye out for moving water. Oh, God. 
and now I lost track of him. Oh, now I see him. Okay. I probably could have avoided that. Sounds like there's somebody behind me. Okay, so we'll just head up onto the land. And oh, there's a snake. See a little squiggler. We'll knock some faces off. We don't like to place, but if you get them out of the water, they're a lot easier to track. And to be honest, if you can get them out of the water with a snake like that, you can kill the snake and get a chicken egg. And potentially a golden chicken egg, which is worth an entire full heal. Uh, actually, switch back to your TMP. Now that we've... Oh! Now that we've cleared out some enemies. Ow. Jerk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Lord Sadler. Yourself. Jesus. Every Magoo is coming out of the woodwork. Okay, that's it. Glad I found that. Because I'm not taking the crap anymore. It keeps ganging up on me because I've lured everyone to my location. Okay. So, well, that's a good, good show of how many enemies there could be. Anywho, what we need to do is we need to head to this far side again. So, from the entrance, it's on the right side. What you'll do is you'll find a tree standing all by itself here with a bird's nest. You'll find the antique pipe. That's worth 10,000. Very much worth your time. Okay, so then we'll head back up to the, the docks here. One shot to clear that out. If you want to clear this room, you can. I believe it's worth handgun ammo. There should be two guys. I say I can hear him, but I can't see him. Seriously? That dude has knees of steel. Okay. So I'll show you what's in here. There is some handgun ammo. Again, always knife your boxes twice. Because you never know what might be inside of them. But otherwise, head up the hill to the double doors. And once again, prepare yourself. So, okay. So if you head up that way, there's an overlook where you actually get to see the fate of two people that you previously knew. I am not going to reload any of my guns right now. I'll equip the handgun to shoot anything. There should be a yellow herb in this house. Right here. Okay, and then we're gonna head to the lower house. I recommend saving. It's not particularly hard, but if you really want an achievement, you're gonna want to save right here. So I'm gonna do that. So let's get a quick save in. So one three. And then the reason you save is because if you come out here, you're going to notice at the end of this dock there's some fish. Now remember how fish heal you? Well, they can heal you. So, let's see that. You see how that kind of ripples through the water? And how, how it's, it looks a little more violent than usual? Yep. That's an achievement to get eaten by the fish. So... We'll just continue from there. I swear I hadn't gotten that one, so I guess I had. Anywho, the correct thing to do is to run outside and get in the boat and not shoot the fish. Then you just steer your boat around that first wreckage back this way towards what looks like a little opening. And a cutscene will play where Del Lago, the giant fish, gets hooked onto your anchor. 
Jesus. Oh! I don't know why they locked the camera angle to my rudder and not my face. He's not very fast, so if you fall out, all you have to do is just spam X. He'll come up and kind of splash you. He's still connected. So, never fear about that. The reason I didn't reload any of my weapons is because you don't get to use any of your weapons for this fight. So there's no point to worry about. Because you're going to have infinite harpoons. He's going to try to wreck you into all of those floating islands. Just keep lobbing these into his tail. Okay. And there are points where he will go completely silent. The rope will disappear from your boat so you can't tell where he's coming from. This is the time to get the most damage on him. You'll get an indicator of which way he's coming from. Jeez. Jesus, is he behind me? And you can usually get two or three on him. And what he'll do is turn around, so just steer as wide as you can. And just keep throwing harpoons at him as much as you possibly can. There's a delay after he makes the turn like that. Just keep wailing on his tail. Okay, so wide turn. He'll miss every time if you do the really wide turn. Okay, come on, Delago. He's doing a terrible job at aiming for those islands. Okay, he's going to go quiet again. Generally, it's pretty easy to tell where he's going to come from because it's the large straightaway of, bot of water. Seriously, again, is he coming from behind me? No, good. I missed. He's too far away. I can say, just keep wailing on him. Just harpoon after harpoon. When you finally get him down, the cutscene will play. He'll sink, and Leon will get a rope wrapped around his foot. Just spam your command to cut the rope. And we're free. Del Lago will sink. We'll be free. And that is the end of chapter 1, 3 and chapter 1. So we are now one of five chapters through Resident Evil 4. Until next time, this has been The Humble Guy. And enjoy.